Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Battle of Badr is the one of the inevitable defense and resistance of believers with the mighty and well equipped infidels. The believers were in need of the nerves of steel to move on through the harrowing experience caused from the side of unbelievers. The oppression, torture, and humiliation were at its peak and unbearable in Mecca. They were prevented from prostrating before their Lord, Allah, who created one and all. At this juncture, they were permitted to migrate to Medina. The unbelievers collected the wealth of believers left in Mecca and plotted devilish plans against Islam and efforts are taken to expel all Muslims in Medina, which adjoined the commercial route. It was the need of the Hawa to defend the wealth of Muslims which was seized and stolen by the band of Abu Sufyan, whose caravan is coming back after a lucrative business with the wealth of believers from Syria. The believers intended to catch the wealth and thought nothing about a war with the weak, unequipped and the fasting people in the 70th day of Ramadan. The movement of believers were known by Abu Sufyan and he changed his route and sought help from Makkah. Even when he understood his caravans are safe and informed no helps are needed. But the boasting army of Abu Jahl are not ready to retreat. Then therefore the truth and falsehood, but the truth won. The unflinching moral of Sahaba under the paragon leadership of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fortified them to do whatever wanted to safeguard Islam. When they totally submitted and sacrificed for Allah, Allah helped the believers giving the crowning victory. We need to think that the power is not about the numbers or wealth. It's all about the purity of faith. Thus, keep in mind that those followers of Prophet Muhammad should be the spiritual powers which lead as to the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.